digital imaging solutions have become critical as operating rooms become more modern and more complex. A skilled surgical team relies on visual information. The speed of its delivery and the ability to share those images is crucial to immediate informed decision making. Sharing his excitement about his company's new digital technology, OptiScan Imaging CEO, Professor Camille Farah. Uh, absolutely blown away by its capability and its ability to image in vivo uh, live microscopic structures. OptiScan Imaging designs, manufactures and commercialises digital microscopic technology. Its goal? To support medical practitioners and researchers in providing better outcomes while saving time and money for healthcare providers. The innovations bring real-time feedback into the OR. That enables physicians and surgeons to make instantaneous decisions in the operating theatre, affecting positively the quality of life of patients, decreasing the burden on the healthcare system and improving patient outcomes. Global collaborations are underway with leading surgeons using this revolutionary confocal imaging technology. One is Professor Mark Pruhl, Director of Neurosurgery Research at the Barrow Neurological Institute in Arizona. Professor Pruhl is excited about the possibilities going forward using the digital probe with fluorescent dyes. If we can then tag those fluorescent dyes with specific molecular labels to actually label the cells that this probe system can see, that, that is nearly a holy grail in terms of uh, identifying the, these malignant cells that, that we need to get out. That would be an incredible advantage for these patients. He adds this live microscopic imaging technology can overcome current workflow inefficiencies. So what this is, is we're seeing these images of this tissue on the fly in real time we can involve the pathologist who can also see these uh, tissue characteristics by these digital images that can be remoted to that pathologist. And then a conversation in real time, on the fly, take part in the operating room with the neurosurgeon and the pathologist. That is an immense improvement potential for workflow in the operating room. These digital workflow improvements are also enthusiastically noted by leading breast surgeon, Professor Bruce Mann, trialling the technology in Melbourne hospitals. The summary is it's better for the surgeon, it's less stress for the patient, uh, and, and a better outcome for the hospital and the whole health system. The precision the instrument provides through clear, real-time microscopic images may help enable much better surgical outcomes for patients. Breast conserving surgery means removing the cancer with a cuff of normal tissue around it. The big challenge is to do that precisely. We need to take enough tissue so that the margins are negative, but we don't want to take so much that it affects the cosmetic result. That precision comes with miniaturisation. This scanner has over 100 parts in it. They're all made and assembled here by the technicians. Now that's miniaturisation. Dr Lindsay Busso, OptiScan's application and customer support manager, says it takes a skilled production team and a microscope to build a microscope. But its operation is simple. The use of the microscope is very, very easy. You can just pick it up and touch it against the tissue you want to see and you'll see images uh, of the microscopic structure of the tissue uh, in real time on the screen in front of you. Here we can see taste buds uh, and individual cells and cell nuclei on my tongue. These are the sorts of things that an oral medicine specialist would be looking for to make a determination of cancer. OptiScan Imaging is seeking collaborations to help bring its technology to the world. We believe the technology is absolutely critical to an efficient healthcare system and uh, we believe it will revolutionise healthcare.